the first and the foremost thing is doing more than your ability i have seen students putting lot of effort at the last moment but what happens is you are exhausting the mental and the physical energy that you have before the exam so while you are writing the exam the thing that is going to work for you is nothing but your physical and your mental energy if you completely exhausted by doing more than what you can at this point of time you will feel depleted in the paper you will feel exhausted in the paper and whatever score you could have got even that score will not come in the exam so this is one thing where that you should completely avoid take optimum amount of rest take optimum amount of breaks when you think you are getting stressed and have a low intensity preparation at this point of time not a very high intensity preparation and this is going to largely benefit you because you are going to feel more relaxed while writing your actual je exam the second thing that you should avoid at this point of time is you should avoid having outside food drinks etc because what will happen is if you fall ill at this point of time half of your body's energy will go into fighting that disease and again you are going to feel exhausted while writing the paper you need to be in your top form while writing the paper third thing that i will want all of you to avoid is having very haphazard bio blocks what does that i mean is most of the students will have this habit of uh, staying up late at night and then getting up late in the morning now let us say that your exam is in the first shift then what will happen is for that 9 o'clock exam you will have to reach center at least 1 hour early and for that you will have to leave your house at least at 6:37 and for that you will have to get up at 5:30 somewhere 5 in the morning so you can see that if your bio clock is somehow not aligned to that you are going to face problem on that day you are not going to feel the best of yourself you will feel sleepy while writing the exam and you can avoid all of this because what you can do is from now onwards in the last 7 days you can slowly start aligning your bio clock with the actual exam times let us say you have this habit of sleeping in the afternoon so avoid those point of those time or slots in the day when your actual shift to exam is going to happen fourth mistake that you can avoid while writing this exam is not reading the instructions of the exam well like what kind of things i need to carry in the exam hall what kind of bottles what kind of pens what kind of admit card where my center is how will i travel if you have this planning in place largely it will avoid the morning anxiety or the afternoon anxiety you will have in order to reach your destination for writing the exam now if you can have this one psychology this is going to give you a very big boost is see this exam either you can take it as a pressure or a burden or on the other side you can take it as an opportunity to compete with tell like people at such an early age in your life this will give you an idea that today if i compete myself with all the people in my age group where do i actually stand and you can see that time and time again you will have to compete with the same set of people in your life so it is a very good idea that you get this exposure early even if you get good bad ugly performance whatever it is getting this opportunity to write this exam is something that you can have a gratitude for if you can work with that attitude and learn whatever you can can in the next 7 days and while writing the exam all of this can become a learning attitude and a learning to write your exam or the attempt to better if you are facing some problem whose answer you want you can post a comment in the chat box i will try and make a video around that and help you